One, two, three. Yar. Ha! Ahoy, land lovers. Lovers of land. Lovers from another mother. We are Tom and Galen. Are you saying lovers? Lovers. Okay. Lovers. Welcome to your 15 minutes of fume. If you're wondering what all this is about, uh, just imagine what my parents must think. Uh, we recently at the lab uh, released a pirate imp pack. For those of you just joining us on Planet B Pal, we sell these imp imp packs. Uh, these are imp's ears. That's the cutesy poo little name for our little sample sizes that we give away lots of. But also you can order a bunch of them if you just want to try a fragrance in this size because you have commitment issues. Or maybe you just want to see if you're allergic. And anyway, uh, we have a whole bunch of different packs of these, like six or seven packs depending, um, based on scent, various scent families. So you can try like a musk imp pack and you know, you'll probably like at least one of them. Anyway, we recently expanded our imp pack collection to include a pirate themed one. Now it seems kind of crazy, uh, over the years we've racked up quite a lot of pirate perfumes. Yar. Yar. Um, what, like, when you're, when you think about pirates, you might think about all sorts of things such as? Uh, buried treasure. <laughs> good, good. Yes, and? Peg legs. <laughs> uh, peg, peg legs. Large hats. Uh, sure. It helps Birds with the, the shoulders. sun damage. It just turns out that there's a lot of uh, piracy wrapped up in our sort of like historical obsessions. And we have a bunch of perfumes inspired by them. We've got six of these little pirate imps that we're going to try on. I can't even reach them. Maybe, will you fly down there and get those? The first one that we've got is Anne Bonny, famous historical pirate. Miss Bonny, if you're nasty, which oh, she was. She was very nasty. So she'd prefer it if you call her Miss Bonny. A blend of Indonesian red patchouli, red sandalwood, and frankincense. A lot of patchouli in these pirate scents for obvious reasons. Because the pirates love patchouli? Because they're nasty. Oh. This oh. is a very patchouli forward. Um, is that dragon's blood in there? What's making it red? The sandalwood is kind of like, I can detect it underneath. This the, is nice. I feel like there is dragon's blood in the here. The patchouli is definitely like poking me straight in the eyeballs. And the frankincense kind of adds to the scratch of the patch. Because mm -hmm. it's just like... Um, mm. I don't know if I've smelled it. Right to the back of the sinuses. It's wonderful. She might be my kind of pirate. It's fresh, um, but dirty and woody. Mm -hmm. N not very oceanic or brackish or... Not in the way that uh, some of these no. probably will be. We're gonna get brackish Great. pretty soon. All right, and Bonnie, uh, we'll be getting made on to round two. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Grog, Grog, R, a vasty matey. Uh, <laughs> this be the scent of pirate rum. Oh, be it. It do be. <laughs> um, Yar. So wow, this is just like a lovely. Like, I want to say, like, brown sugar molasses. Like a, yeah, like buttered rum. I, f like, I feel like I've stuck my head into a thing of butterscotch candies. Yeah, it's very, it's very boozy and Whoa, sweet. Whoa, I just put it up my nose. Yeah. It does have enough booze to, again, go right to the back of my sinus cavity. Mm -hmm. It's in my skull. What's more pirate than that? When you think about it, any perfume that you wear, you're putting in your skull. Third, we have Jolly Roger, the stalwart general collection favorite Jolly Roger. This one on the bottle, the full size bottle, just has a picture of the Jolly Roger flag. So often people are like, what's that? Or they don't know what to search for to find out what's in it. Um, we did this to ourselves. Sea spray with an undercurrent of leather, bay rum, and salty dry woods. Now this is the first aquatic mm -hmm. that we have blundered into. Yeah, it is like a, um, a fresh kind of like blue green aquatic. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting the leather in the bottle. The bay rum is there, like you know, like the it's like the 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 cologne notes, mm -hmm. and then the woods. Like I feel like fresh will sea salt probably smell. come out on the skin, but I think I touched my nose with it. Uh oh, I'm gonna cry. I feel like I'm. Put this oh, I'm on the ship. Hold on. The oh my gosh, it's like tie the flag down. I don't. I'm. You've never done. Never that done it. Never okay. done it. Now we have Mary Reed. 
another famous pirate. Lady pirate. Uh, there are no male pirates referenced in this list, which I find fascinating, because it wasn't on purpose. We just like the pirates that we like. Mary Reed is salt air, ocean mist, aged patchouli, sarsaparilla, watered-down rum, leather-tinged musk, and a spray of gunpowder. So this is kind of a, a lot of the notes that we have already discussed, but kind of but now they're like Yeah, it's like if you mixed <laughs> three Mary together. Reed embodies all of these. Uh, she's every woman. I'm getting some of that ocean mist, although this one is a kind of like a muskier, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like a foggy ocean. And then there's like a bit of the sweetness from the rum and the sarsaparilla. I, again, not getting leather yet, but it just might have to come out on the skin. But I, I can hear the ship creaking in the water. Like, I, I, as I, I thought you were going to say, I can hear the leather. I can hear it. I can hear the leather creaking. <laughs> but I can't smell it. As far as gunpowder, we'll see on the skin, but I've smelled gunpowderier. So it's not like a... I, I feel like it's there. But it's not like a kapow in the face. No, no Agnes Nutter boom shot. Exactly. Number five is plunder. The scent of a pirate's bumboat overflowing with stolen wares. Tea leaf. Cassia, cinnamon bark, clove, allspice, sandalwood, tobacco, peppercorn, and nutmeg. Ooh. So a spicier pirate. So this is like the pirate's loot? Yeah, I mean, it's funny. I mean, historically, a lot of what would have been pirated would have been spices. In the yeah. bottle, I'm getting, weirdly, like a kind of breakfast cereal smell that I can't yeah. pinpoint, you know what I mean? It's right. Cinnamon, nutmeg, um, tea leaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like there's some, like, it's like a nice, um, like like continental breakfast at sea. And then I'm curious to see on the skin if the tobacco and peppercorn, for example, comes out to play more. To, to, I mean, it does have a bit of an edge. It's not like a fully gourmand foodie experience. No. It's all the spice and none of the carbs. Yeah, which is like a very aromatic spice melange. Yeah, like an open Warm air. Warm and, and cozy. Right. Plunder. But, yeah. It's the smell of the plunder. Interesting. And not of the pirate. And last but not least, we have uh, Port-au-Prince. Dark, decadent, and incomparably exotic. The rich scent of buttered rum flavored with almond, bay, clove, and sassafras. So, you know, again, like a kind of a... It's funny that you think, like, pirates is truly a genre of scent. There are these various elements that are just being combined here in a number of different ways. Oh my god, it almost stopped me mid-sentence. Wow, I think this is my favorite. It's the clove and the almond. There's something about this that reminds me of uh, Baron Samity. The scent, um, not just the Baron. It is very, this is like one of the deeper, darker, exotic is a good word for it. Husky. Husky, spicy almond. Spicy almond, yeah. Dry. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a drier. Dry. This is like you, you have landed. You're off the ship. Yeah. Or like you're waking up um, in a body house, you know, after a night of frolicking. Um, well, that's also kind of what this is. With like. stolen yeah. money. Yeah. Huh. It's like, a, you know, a pirate's life for me. Port of Prince. I want to catch a glimpse. This bird is like digging into my ear. Oh, do it. Hey. Guess who is a veritable calliope of pirate sense? We are. Being played by demons. Uh oh, it's everywhere. I am swimming in it. Swimming in it. Yes? Swimming in it. I am swimming in it. Right. Okay. Do an Anne Bonny I'm first. a smelling it. Well, that is a red ass patchouli. <sighs> Looking for the red sandalwood. Oh, I'm smelling that sandalwood. <sighs> it's. I think that's just the source of the sweetness. The source of the sweetness in this blend is the sandalwood. Um, Thank you, Cindy Brady. <laughs> <laughs> and dang, the frankincense really is kind of just dressing the place up. It's got. It's got a little pirate class to it. You know? Yeah. Uh, Aunt Bonnie's a popular one of ours. At, it really is. At cons, too, and like people usually go crazy for it. I don't think I have smelled it, but I, I really like it. This seems kind of out of my alley. I can't remember when I've tried it on, but it's... Okay, so here's the thing about it, and in true Aunt Bonnie pirate fashion, it, um, 
because you know when we're talking about lady pirates that's absurd like it's a truly gender neutral experience yeah. the occupation of pirate has no gender as you know if you have ever for example stolen um an mp3 on the internet that the fbi warned you against doing um literally anyone can do it they tried to tell you and uh i, b I believe Anne bonnie's outward appearance was probably um rough to say the least because it's a pirate's life so um, what I love about this is recommending it, for example, when we're doing events to men that come up to the booth and I'm just like, you look like you smell like Anne Bonny. Or ought to. Starting now. They're like, who? The frankincense, though, I really think pulls um, a fast one on the patchouli and kind of like wrestles it to the ground and then makes the whole thing like look, you know, easy. Yeah. Moving on to the grog. Uh, this was the, the scent of pirate rum. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It really just is. I don't, I mean, actually, there's not much I can even say about it because it's like a sweet, boozy rum smell that smells like you've been rumming it up, which, you know, since we're not driving as much, um, that's fine. But I wouldn't wear it uh, if you were likely to be pulled over because they're just going to, you're going to end up walking the plank. Have I mean, you been drinking today? I mean, the line. And you're like, no, it's a pirate perfume that I'm wearing. And you're like, well, because it That sounds smells... like something a drunk person would say. I need you to get out of the car. <laughs> exactly. Now, <laughs> we go to... Jolly Roger, which is that sea spray with leather, uh, bay rum, and salty dried woods. Wow, okay, so it's very salty on the skin. This is definitely one of the f only like o truly oceanic perfume Ooh. blends in the Pirate Imp Pack. Yeah. Imp Pack, Imp Pack. Just like really crisp, salty air. Yes. And it's like... A faint cologne, oh. whispery cologne thing, um, but it's certainly more of that, uh, you know, Jack and Rose standing at the end of the Titanic feeling, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, like, what if it was Jack and Jack? Because, like, I'm not smelling Rose in that equation. Yeah, Rose isn't there. She actually is just hanging out with Billy Zane. Yeah. Okay, so shall we move on to Mary Reed? Oh, definitely a different kind of saltwatery <sighs> smell than the others. Yeah, they're comparable. Like, they, you know. they belong. Um, but there is something kind of, um, this is just, like, a bit... Uh, more sweet and fun, I think. Mm -hmm. It's just got like a, you know, Mae West as a pineapple kind of like vibe. Like, why don't you come out to see me sometime? Plunder! Oh. It's, it's a lot of spice. It's dry and spicy. Yes, it is. Not in a bad way. It not is, super, it's just intense. Not super sweet. You know that thing where you like sprinkle cinnamon on your oatmeal and then you smell the cinnamon before ever tasting anything and you get that like dry poof of cinnamon? Mm hmm And then you can't eat the oatmeal. No, you always eat the oatmeal. I can't. You've never not eaten the oatmeal. Okay. <laughs> the tea is pulling it back for sure because it has like that like edge of bitterness that mm -hmm. pulls it back from being like a really foody smell. Really just kind of an herbal, spicy, warm. You open that trunk and you're like, oh my god, they stole all the spices. Yes, yes. And it's, it doesn't smell bad. It does remind me of opening a trunk, though. Yeah, it's just like... <sighs> Except for like, you know... Well, hopefully there's an accordion in there. Also. Oh, yeah. This well, is the smell of a trunk that may contain an accordion in addition to a lot of spices. And finally, because uh, we're probably running out of time, is uh, Port-au-Prince. Oh, yeah. Did I say before this smelled like Baron Samity? Mm -hmm. it's, it still does. Different. Um, it just so smells... Like dry and rummy. Yeah. Kinda. And also, like, maybe, like, Pirate has taken a bath, but, like, still puts on the same clothes, so you still carry the scent of your travels with you, but, like, with less of the body crust. Yeah. There's something, like, lightly cologne about it in kind of a gender-neutral way. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's the almond for you because um, oh, yeah. the almond takes no sides. Anyone can be an almond. <sighs> Why even you? I think <laughs> I think out of all of them, this is the one that I might be most likely to wear. Although I do like um, that Mae West pirate movie one. That um, was uh, Mary Reed. Uh, Wait, is it Mary Reed? Or? Yes, Mary Reed. Yeah. So that is our six pack of. Pirate imps uh, that you can purchase as a set, a sampler um, of pirate booty. And uh, <laughs> we just wanted to walk everyone through it in case you were feeling um, piratical. Stay salty, everyone. And see you on the high seas.
No? I'm gonna go drink a high seat. Yar.